Is the world automobile industry is in big trouble with Toyota new innovation, the H2 engine? Will the H2 engine destroy the EV industry? What's so great about Toyota new engine? Let's explore in this video. Namaste, I'm Krishnetanya Mandela, your EV bro. Usually, in a petrol vehicle, a gasoline engine is used. In the combustion chamber, the gasoline burns to produce power, which helps the car moving. The problem with gasoline cars, they produce CO2, which results in pollution. The solution to petrol or diesel vehicle emissions are electric vehicles, which produce zero greenhouse gases. But the problem with electric vehicles, the cost of the battery is almost 40% of the overall vehicle cost. According to some automobile technical experts, EVs are not 100% eco-friendly unless until they charge with solar power. Then here comes another alternative for gasoline vehicles to reduce pollution. Hydrogen is 100% eco-friendly. In producing hydrogen vehicles, Toyota is a master of it. For example, Toyota Mirai is a successful hydrogen fuel cell car. The hydrogen fuel cell car works with hydrogen fuel. Inside the car, there is a hydrogen fuel cell. The hydrogen liquid reacts with fuel cell to produce energy plus water as byproduct. The energy is used to run the car and the water is comes out of the fuel pipe as byproduct, which means 100% eco-friendly. Very recently, Toyota CEO Koji Sato brings Corolla Cross H2 concept Concept. This is a new prototype car from Toyota which works with hydrogen combustion engine. This hydrogen combustion engine is different from hydrogen fuel cell technology. Inside hydrogen car, there is an IC engine which works with hydrogen gas instead of hydrogen liquid. This engine is called as hydrogen H2 engine. A point to be noted here that hydrogen combustion engines are not new. In the early 2000s, BMW already used this engine in BMW 7 E65. Only 100 units of BMW 7 cars were sold at the time. This car has also two engines, works with hydrogen and gasoline. It is a dual fuel engine. As the car has one hydrogen and one gasoline engine, the EPA not recognized this as a zero emission car and also this car is highly inflammable. That's the reason BMW discontinued the E65 car. Now, the Toyota H2 hydrogen car is more safer. Inside the car, they are using more safe tanks to store hydrogen. The car uses a 1.3 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine, which can produce 300 horsepower. Earlier, the hydrogen tanks are made with aluminum, but there were chances of explosion because hydrogen is highly reactive. Now, the fuel tank is making with carbon fiber to hold the hydrogen safer. And very recently, Toyota also announced a partnership ship with Yamaha to develop a hydrogen fueled V8 engine that will produce 455 horsepower and 540 newton meters of torque. The speciality of this new V8 engine, it produces sound. Usually hydrogen fuel cell engines won't produce sound as the new V8 engine to have high frequency sound, it is a safety feature. Also, hydrogen combustion engine having a main advantage over gasoline engine due to zero pollution. Usually gasoline vehicles produce pollutants like CO2 and nitrogen oxide, but hydrogen vehicles produce only water as a byproduct, which is 100% environment friendly. And one more advantage of hydrogen combustion engine, they offer higher energy density than gasoline vehicles. Compared with gasoline, high amount of power can be produced by hydrogen fuel cell engines. On a full refuel, hydrogen cars can travel a distance of 800 kilometers. And compared with EVs, the refueling time of hydrogen cars are faster. Hydrogen refuel time is 500 kilometers of range in 90 seconds but for charging an EV for 300 kilometer range takes 15 minutes. However, there are problems with hydrogen vehicles. It's lack of infrastructure. At present, there are lacks of petrol pumps available for refueling of gasoline vehicles but only a few hydrogen refueling stations are available. In developing countries like India, there are only two hydrogen fuel stations available. The second challenge, hydrogen must be stored in high pressure tank. The distribution of hydrogen also a challenge compared with gasoline distribution and because of these major challenges hydrogen vehicles are not massly adopted the h2 engine from toyota is still on trials for approval and mass adoption
combustion, it takes time. Moreover, hydrogen vehicles are expensive than EVs. Also, hydrogen fuel cost is higher than electric vehicle charging. And Toyota H2 IC engine cannot destroy the EVs or cannot replace EVs because of the challenges discussed so far. But it will add more fame to Toyota for its innovation. That's the complete information about Toyota H2 engine. If you are an EV owner willing to share your ownership review with us, please WhatsApp your details to the number shown on the screen or else fill the form link in the description below. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to EV Bro. For reviews, please subscribe to EV Bro Reviews. For automobile content, please subscribe to MVS Auto. Charge the nature, drive the future.